If you're planning an advertising or marketing campaign, you have to be able to hook people and keep them there. You have to earn the right for their attention. And then you have to give them a reason to move on to the next step. You have to align that reason with something that's within them, with something they're looking for, hungry for, searching for. We need to be optimistic in business. We have to love ourselves. We have to love what we do. We have to believe in what we're doing. But what we can't be is overly optimistic when it comes to building out your advertising and marketing campaigns. You can't just build it and hope that people will find it. You have to build creative that, that gets in front of people and inspires them, builds curiosity, builds interest, reveals something. You have to be able to hook people and then you have to earn every single second of attention. You can't just assume that, oh, people will stick around to the end. Most of them need to be introduced to you. They're not looking for you. You need to get in front of them. Any kind of marketing or advertising campaign today has to be steeped in curiosity and interest. It has to go a step beyond. And so if you feel you can just build something and hit people with it enough times in the hope they're going to take action, they won't. A lot of ads not only set up the curiosity, they answer the question right in the ad. If in the ad that you're showing someone, you set up the hook, you set up the curiosity, and you answer the question, there is no reason to go on. There's nothing that's pulling me forward. There's nothing that's moving me through this. You have to be able to hook people and keep them there. You have to earn the right for their attention. And then you have to give them a reason to move on to the next step. You have to align that reason with something that's within them, with something they're looking for, hungry for, searching for, something that uh, speaks to their curiosity that you've built within them. When they move on to the next step, whether it's you, you know, having a call or giving a demo or writing an email, you can't take for granted that they will do any of those things. Yesterday, I was referred to a company. I reached out to a friend. He said, reach out to these people. These people are amazing. So I Google them. I go onto their website. Guess what? There's not a single call to action on the page. I literally did not know what to do next. I actually Google them and I call them and I get their receptionist. And I said, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I don't know anything about you. I've never done this before. This is who I am. This is what I'm looking to accomplish. Who can I speak to? And she said, there's no one here you can speak to. You have to go online and fill out a form. I said, that's ridiculous. She said, that's not ridiculous. Go online and fill out a form. I said, I don't want to fill out a form. I want to talk to someone. Do you not have someone I can talk to? I need someone to help me with this. I don't even know how to articulate what I'm asking for because I don't know enough. And she said, well, it's 10 after four. She finally pulled out of me my name and my number and she filled out the form. Seven o'clock last night, I got a call back from someone. I had a one hour conversation with them or something. I got all the answers that I needed. I'm so happy that they had enough uh, uh, customer service, enough dedication to reach out to me in the evening to answer my questions and talk to me. But let me tell you how frustrating it was. I mean, this is someone who I, I'm referred into them. I'm, I want their service and yet they still made the middle of that really, really, really difficult for me because I just wanted to talk to someone. Because to be honest, I told her on the phone, I said, listen, I'm not going to fill out a form. Uh, I guess I'll just go find someone else. And she didn't like that answer, but I was like, I'm, I'm not going to fill out a form. I'm not going to follow this process. I think it's ridiculous that I can't talk to someone now. So thanks, I guess. What about all those people who are not as desperate, not as hungry, don't want the answer as much as me? those people who are much bigger clients, much bigger customers. This company is hoping that people will want to contact them as much as I did. They are dreaming that somehow landing on their website and having a page but no call to action is going to have people move through. Some people will. Don't let those people who are as desperate and hungry as me confuse you into thinking that everyone will because most people, the vast majority of people will not. And so in your marketing campaigns, you cannot assume that people will pay attention. You cannot assume that people care what you have to say. You cannot be selfish. You cannot assume that they'll take an action and dig a little deeper and do all those things that I did because the vast majority of people will never do it. So when you sit down to plan a strategy for any kind of campaign you do, first, understand your objectives. Who are you speaking to? Your target audience? What are their motivations? The, the five things we always go through, right? We always talk about this. Objectives, target audience, their motivations, their preconceived notions of you, and then the ways that you're distributing the channels. How are you getting in front of people? How, what mindset do they bring to it? Go through those five things all the time, but more than anything, don't just optimistically hope and dream that something's going to work. Be a little bit skeptical because the, the people who you're trying to advertise to, trust me, they're going to be cynical of you. They're not going to trust what you have to say. They're going to be skeptical of you. So 
stop being optimistic, stop being hopeful, stop dreaming when it comes to how receptive the audience will be. Be cynical, be skeptical, and then still do something that wins. Be pleasantly surprised when it hits. Dump the things that aren't working for you. That's how you need to approach marketing. But stop just hoping and dreaming it's gonna work. It's not going to. That's it. That's it. Boom, light flare the entire time. Yeah, I really got that in there. <laughs> <laughs> if growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.